Renault Twizy charger replacement. So this is my Renault Twizy and it has a charger fault. How do I know it's got a charger fault? Let me explain. So what I normally do is drive to work, I park my Twizy, generally, well, here, close to the plug socket. I get out, open up my little cover, pull out my charging lead and plug it in on charge. Now, what should happen is a little fan starts making a noise, the dash lights up to tell me that the Twizy's charging and it doesn't. So what happened is I came to work one day, I parked my Twizy up, I put it on charge, I thought lovely, I got on with my day. Come to the end of the day, went to go home, turned on my ignition and I was like, oh no, I've only got eight miles range left. I was like, why isn't it charged? I was like, a little bit weird. Unplugged it, plugged it back in, and it started charging. All was good. I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange. So left it charging, gave it a couple of hours. After a couple of hours, it was absolutely fine. Drove home, drove back to work, plugged it in the next morning, wouldn't charge. Cycled the ignition, turned the ignition on, it powered up, the fan started going, then it started charging. I thought, hmm, I feel like something's on the way out a little bit here. Kept an eye on it, kept limping it for a couple of days, and now it will not charge at all. No matter what I do, I've changed the fuse in the plug, I've checked the feed down to the charging unit itself, I've checked everything. I plugged it into diagnostics, and um, being a mechanic, which is handy for me, plugged it onto diagnostics, and it's come up with charging fault. I was like, brilliant. I searched high and low to try and find a company that would rebuild my charger unit, overhaul it, do an exchange one, even a second hand one, I could not find anyone that offered any sort of support for the standard charging unit, so I had to use Renault. Um, I found the company that actually makes the chargers for Renault, but they wouldn't sell me a charger outside of Renault. I guess it's, you know, they're obviously tied to Renault in some sort of means, so I had to go direct to Renault, buy a charger, and it cost me, I can't remember how much it was now, 700 and... So what, let me check, give me two seconds. And it cost me the grand total of 790 pounds, 52 pence. Now, please bear in mind, I'm in the trade, so I got this at trade price. The price of this unit should cost 719 plus six pounds 43 plus six pounds 43 equals 731.86 plus fat. The retail on this unit is 878 pounds, 23 pence. What are these other little bits? Believe it or not, these are warning stickers. I ordered the charging unit, the Renault main dealer rang me back and they said, we cannot sell you this charging unit without you purchasing the warning stickers. If you don't purchase the warning stickers, we can't sell you it. So we have to sell you the stickers to cover our ass. I was like, brilliant. How much are the stickers? There's two of them, they're £6.43 each. Brilliant. So yeah, the total on this cost me £790, but with a retail of £878. I'm going to show you, if you really get stuck, or if you've got a mechanic in the area that will do the job for you, but he's a little bit worried about working on an electric vehicle, because a lot of people are at the minute, I'm going to show you how to fit your own charging unit to your Renault Twizy. So yeah. Let's crack on. Right, disclaimer time. Please do not attempt this yourself if you do not feel confident in working on an electric vehicle. Um, Renault Twizzies are only about 60 volts, so they're not like the highest, you know, sort of powered electric vehicle EV we've got on the roads at the moment, but it can still do some serious damage. So if you don't feel confident and do it, don't, basically. I'm only doing it because, well, I'm a mechanic and I feel really horrible having to say this, but you know, I don't feel comfortable paying another mechanic to do a job. I'd rather just have a go myself. And then if it goes wrong, then I'll pay another mechanic to put it right. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to do it myself. Right. First things first, I'm quite lucky um, that I have full access to a workshop. I can't get this Twizy on a ramp because it's too narrow, but luckily just about squeezes onto our pit. So I'm going to be doing it on the pit. Um, quick walk around under here. First thing you see at the back, this is the battery pack itself. Um, you've also got all the orange cables and the high voltage cables, but the charging unit we want to get at is behind this shield. Before I take the shield off and start removing that, I'm going to take the nose cone off, which is two little clips, one that side and one that side, two little 10 mils underneath, 
and then I'm gonna take the nose cone off and I'm gonna disconnect the 12 volt battery. So I'm gonna do that now. And like that, the front nose cone is off. Here is the 12 volt battery um, for the Twizy. This is like the auxiliary battery or like the buffer for the um, traction battery itself. Um, so that charges this. And then this is used for all like the lights and the indicators because the rest of the Twizy is just general 12 volt. Um, it's the earth cable itself is, this is a T30 Torx pit and you can get at the earth cable just by undoing that. I'm gonna try and do it one handed. So that screw comes out. Oh, I can hear it all clicking inside. There we go, and that is 12 volt battery disconnected. I'm gonna tuck the earth down there. I'm gonna put the screw in my little pile of bits there. Hopefully remember it all goes. If you need to change the 12 volt battery, by the way, once you get this nose comb off, there's a couple of little Torx bits, one down there. I wonder if I've got a torch, I can show you a bit better. So 12 volt battery replacement on a Twizy is quite common as well. So you've got some little torque screws there, and then you've got a little black cover and some torque screws there. Once you undo those, you can then lift this cover off and then the 12 volt battery comes out and there's another one of them connected on the back. So if you need to change 12 volt battery, that's how. I'm not changing it, I'm just disconnecting it just for safety. So yeah, keys out the ignition, that's disconnected. Right, now I need to take this under panel down off. Um, you've got these little 13 mil bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna get that down and then I'll show you the bit we need to get. At. This is called using your head. Oh my God, oh, I missed one. Oh man, oh, look at that. So yeah, completely didn't even notice. There's two 10 mils, one there and one there. Better undo them, hadn't I? Oh, that gave me a date. Ow. Right. And under here, we have our charging unit, which is this whole thing here. So, right, don't overly quote me on this, but I'm gonna um, educate you as best as I can. So you have this cable coming down here, that one goes into this tube, which then goes up to the front to your three pin plug, the wire that you pull out the front. So you can see the color of it there, as well the cable loops up in that little hole. And um, that then connects to here. You've got a nice ground up there. That goes round into the charging unit. You've then got this tube, which is a vent of some sort, I believe. Don't overly quote me on that again. But yeah, so that needs to be disconnected. Then you've got the traction battery that connects from here, round into the charging unit. That goes up to the control unit inside the car, and there's a few other little connectors and stuff like that all up here. So yeah, um, I need to start disconnecting this. I need to obviously, I need to disconnect everything that's connected to it. So I'm not gonna overly bore you and showing you pulling these all apart. I'm gonna disconnect them all. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll get back to you. So uh, one more thing I forgot to mention while working on this Twizy and while working on the high voltage stuff is these. These are my genuine EV gloves. Um, they're not very glamorous and they're quite clumbersome and they're quite thick and they're hard to work with but they withstand like 2000 volts. So um, I'm gonna wear them regardless. So if you think I'm just diving in and just grabbing cables and stuff, I do run a little bit of, you know, caution to the wind. And obviously there's no one else in this workshop either. So I know no one's gonna come over and touch stuff or no one's gonna come near it. So um, yeah, there you go. Get yourself a pair of these. They're like hundred pound, I think something like that. But you know, you can't put a price on life, can you? Okay, so I've gone round, I've disconnected everything that I feel that's still connected to it. That's on a bracket and that bracket's attached to the charging unit. The little vent hose, that's all disconnected. Tuck that out of the way so it doesn't get too in my way like that. So I've saved the best for last. Unplugging the traction battery. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, for those who know me, I, you know, I, I still get nervous wiring up a plug. So, um, and I know even a plug's higher voltage than this, but still, you know, when I see all these like warning labels everywhere, I still get a little bit worried, but you know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna film it. So, you know, if anything does go wrong, <laughs> maybe someone will find this video tomorrow morning and a, a toasted me down the pit. But yeah, right, okay. 
Um, these plugs, by the way, these high voltage plugs, they're really, really tricky to work. And um, I've done a lot of work on uh, Renault Zoe's and stuff like that. And uh, the only way I can explain is they're impossible to get off, no, I'm joking. Um, so you need to start off by sliding that blue tag back like that. And then you need to press that black button in there, that little bit there. And then that whole black sleeve needs to slide back. You need to sort of push the plug in while sliding the sleeve back. And then it's sort of, so you need to hold that in, push that back, push that in. It's quite clumbersome, but then once you get all that back, it will then click and unpop. Um, I'm gonna try and do it first attempt, but we all know that's not gonna happen. So yeah, wish me luck. Bang, not, ta-da! And that is the traction battery disconnected. So now we can remove this charging unit by undoing the four 10 mils. One, two, and then round here, three, four, and then hopefully this whole unit will come down. And if I'm correct. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna take these gloves off now. I feel confident enough knowing that my life is not about to flash before my eyes. I don't want to go there. And these are really hard to work in. No, he's lost the bolt. There it is. One. Two. Three. Obviously, as you can see, I'm using all the approved high voltage tools. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and hold it up with one hand and undo the last bolt with the other hand. Stones everywhere. And that is what 800 odd quid looks like so yeah if anyone so when i was talking to the guy from renault on the phone when i was ordering this extortionate battery charger um he said to me i can't sell it to you unless you buy the warning stickers they're going to be blah 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 i said yeah whatever I send it you know i need the charger unit the car doesn't work i can't have an ornament like that sitting on my driveway so i was like yep sell me the stickers i've just got it out and check the part numbers now, the first one is an actual little instruction manual with an eyeball saying, look, look at the front of the car. That's where the 12 volt battery is. And then they gave me this sticker. They said, this sticker, by the looks of it, needs to be stuck on the front of the 12 volt battery. All this sticker says is to read the instruction manual that comes with your Twizy. I was like, okay, fair enough. And if I'm honest, I didn't actually get an instruction manual with my Twizy, but no fear, because the other one that they said was a sticker was a Twizy driver's handbook and it contains everything that you need to know on how to you know work your Twizy what it all does which is great because I didn't actually have one of those but now I have so if you do go to a Renault dealer you do buy a new charging unit and they say you need to buy the stickers just say I'll oh, have the one sticker please because the other one is not a sticker it's a driver's handbook so yeah there you go that's my two pence anyway and here is Ooh, shiny, shiny. More warning stickers. My new charging unit. It's slightly different. Apparently, these um, the early Twizy suffer with these chargers, something rotten. But apparently, they've sorted it all out now. So this charging unit shouldn't cause me any aggravation. Hopefully. So yeah, I'm just going to fit this in reverse order of removing that one. Right, let's crack on. And just like that, 10, 15 minutes later, the charging unit is all refitted. Bolted all the little 10 mils up, plugged in the feed to the charger, plugged in the traction battery, clipped all the little clips on. This cable just sort of hangs down from what I can work out. It's just held up by the, um, like the under tray. The more I look at Twizzies, the more I think they are very rushed and kind of like thrown together a little bit, but meh, I still like them. So yeah, 
everything's plugged in, way to go. So now I need to put the under tray back on, connect the 12 volt battery, fit my lovely sticker on there that warns me I'm working on a vehicle that I need to read the manual on. And then um, hopefully it will charge. There you go. Just so I don't get sued by Renault. Ta-da! And uh, before any of the boffins ask, yes, I cleaned it with my sleeve. I've connected the ground up for the 12 volt battery. Um, oh, for people who don't know, if you take the nose cone off these, they have a tow eye. So if you ever break down and you need to be towed anywhere in a twizzy, there you go. Find the nose cone. Nose cone doesn't go on like that. The nose cone goes on. I'm so gonna drop this like that. Come on, try and go a bit smoothy. Smooth up, like that. Two 10 mil bolts underneath. I'm gonna put a washer on that one because it's a bit chewed up. Someone's been here before. Two clips on the side. And we can see if it works. And that is my Twizzy back together. Now, whilst I was fitting this, a small part of me sort of, you know, while I was thinking in my own crazy little world that I call my mind, a big part of me is hoping that nothing in that control module needs to be programmed. As in, I'm hoping that now I've fitted it, I can just plug the Twizzy in and it will charge. But I'm praying that that's the case and that I don't have to take it to Renault to have it coded. So we're going to find out together. My Twizzy had no doors, by the way. So these are aftermarket Twizzy doors that I fitted. They don't look too great, but they do the job wonderfully. So starting a Twizzy. Key goes in here, not in here. Battery up and down, turn the key till it beeps. Put on the brake, reverse. Still showing eight miles. No warning lights, which is handy. Still drives. Disclaimer, I'm on private land, so I can drive and film at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. Drive over to my nearest plug. Handbrake on. Neutral. Key off. And out the ignition. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't slightly nervous about what was going to happen. I'll turn this off. I'll unplug anything that is likely to surge. Okay. Here we go. Some noises. <gasps> I can hear the fan. Didn't do that a little while ago. Oh yeah. Twizzy's charging. 36%. I I'm a happy boy right now. I was quite worried about that for a minute. So yeah, there you go. That is how you fit a charging unit to a Renault Twizy. Um, only do it if you feel confident enough in doing it, because let's face it, we cannot rely on the dealers forever. You know, it's only gonna be a matter of time before there's electric vehicles everywhere, especially in London, and we're all gonna have to work on them. So, you know, get out there, give it a go. I did, it's clearly worked. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you don't like the video, then don't like, don't share it and don't subscribe. Yeah, cheers guys. Um, yeah, so, me again. I know that was meant to be the end of the video, but I promise this will be the end end of the video. Um, one thing I have noticed, my Twizzy is charging so much faster. It's literally been on like a minute and it's already jumped up like a couple of percent. That's mad.